My cousin is his friend and we met in my cousin's car in a parking lot in Starfontaine. <laughs> Nothing romantic at all. I was aggro. I was irritated with him. He kept us waiting. It ugh, wasn't a love story. Definitely not love episode. <laughs> oh, she was beautiful. Eh? She still, is, she still is beautiful. But I mean, she was. I thought, look, this girl is out of my league. So you know, I will never get her. So I don't care what she says, you know. Right? So yeah, that's my first impression. <laughs> Oh, it was the most romantic thing ever. So it was Moyo, Speed. Um, it was in the treehouse. It was so romantic. All my favorite food. I love to eat. So it was all my favorite food. And he had this band serenade and it was magical. It was like, I mean, I was dressed in a shorts and a t-shirt. So very unprepared, but it was filled with love. He really put in so much effort. It was, um, it was just, it was very pure, effortless, but so stunning when this band came walking up the trials and I don't even know what song they played. I don't know anything. I, I barely remember the details, but I just felt so loved. So my favorite things about Kaylin is, well, she's my guiding star. She, is, she keeps me on a straight road. And um, sometimes I go a bit off, but then she just pulls me back up, you know. That's the thing I love about her. She's a brilliant mother. Brilliant, brilliant mother to our kid. And uh, stepmother to my daughter. I'm making much more kids as I can tell you. I love his caring and giving nature. He. He definitely gives without thinking, he gives without intention to receive, he, he's just a good-hearted person. We've just grown into very strong Christian role models to our kids. I love how we love the Lord together. I love that we can sit down and pray. I love that He just understands me, like, He just gets it. He, he knows just how to make me feel like the most beautiful woman. He always says it, but I always feel it. She's my rock, she's my guiding star. If things get tough and I can turn to her, she gives me words. I don't know where she finds these words from, but it's always the perfect thing that she says. It's the opposite attract, so I'm not like it all actually. <laughs> That's what makes us work here. Yeah. He fits into me, like, we don't have to say anything, we just, the puzzle just completes. I can't imagine it any other way, like, I'm the strongest person that, that I can be, I'm the best version of myself right now, he's the best version of himself right now, and we just gel, we just get it.
I saw you today. Shit, this is awesome. <laughs> and we're watching this guy, and his the arms are, are, are wailing in the, in the water. And, and at the time, I didn't know the man can't swim. <laughs> Next thing I know is he managed to pull himself to shore. So I'm standing there and I'm saying, "Shit, I lost a bit." And he says to me, Mr. B, I can't swim. 
Ich meine, du hast jetzt nur ein Big Dauer unten wie ihr. Well, anyway, best impression uh, Clayton made on me. And you know, when I saw her for the first time, I thought, too beautiful, too tiny, too timid. Oh, oh my God, what, what is this child doing here? But I'm telling you, over the years, this girl, this woman, has proved herself to me, to my son, and to our family. And today I want to welcome you to the Bloom Clan, my girl. You are my daughter. I'm not even calling you a daughter-in-law. You were my daughter for many years now. But today I officially welcome you into the Bloom Clan. But my prayer today is that God will bind Clayton and Kaylin together with cords of love that cannot be broken. And more important than all, I wish you Jesus. I love you guys so much. Clayton, my love, today I choose you to be my husband with no doubt or hesitation. I know God has united us with the purpose that we belong together. I promise to love you unconditionally and never take you or our time together for granted. I will grow with you, believe in you and be faithful to you and our little family. I vow to carry you and to be carried by you. I promise to be the best version of myself to you and to keep the Lord at the center of our union, our family, and our home. You've always been my better half and my best friend. Today, I finally get to call you my husband and I'm honored to be your wife. I have the greatest comfort in knowing that you'll be by my side for better or for worse. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. May we dwell in a lifetime of happiness. I love you forever. Babe, so the first time I saw your face, I saw the most beautiful girl on earth. Today, even more beautiful. You're going to be my wife and I'm the proudest man to have a woman like you by my side. I don't want to sound cheesy, but for your precious love, I will climb the highest mountain or catch the biggest fish. That's your decision. As a cheesy girl for catching a fish. <laughs> I'm going to be the best husband I can be. Promise to love you and make life as comfortable as I can for you and our kids. We put God first in our marriage and in every situation we find ourselves in. You stuck with me and I'm happy to be stuck with you. I love you forever. <laughs> 